The Samsung Galaxy what? Hold, hold up, I actually need my glasses. I actually need my glasses, my dude. Hold up. The Samsung Galaxy F. This might actually be this uh, this might actually be this this might actually be a makeup for stuff you have here TV. Who Who knows, am I right? Okay, let's uh, okay, I'm gonna okay okay here okay, uh Samsung Galaxy F coming soon in weeks. Welcome back right to new video. And right now, the Samsung Galaxy F is getting a lot of attention due to the fact that this is Samsung's first foldable smartphone. It was debuted on the Samsung Developer Conference 2018. Okay. Uh, okay. I actually don't know. I'm, I don't actually don't know much about this phone. Uh, uh, all I know is that everybody just keeps talking about it. Uh, if, if this... If this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's, it's like Samsung's last phone before before they get sued or something like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Grabbed a lot of attention since this is one of the first foldable smartphones ever to be debuted in front of an audience, and also one of the first foldable Hold displays we have ever seen. Now, there's a Hold up, what? So it's a smartphone. It's a smartphone, but it folds. Uh, okay. This might actually be a video I can eat cake to. And we finally got a really good glimpse of the future. And this smartphone is really coming to you. So we let's talk about some of the new features. Now, from... Mom, what's your first? I need that smartphone in my life. As you can see, I've been... As you can see, I've been... I've been as you can see, I've been saving my money for Android phone for like... For like quite a while. Oh yeah, and his money came straight from YouTube. From Korean ET News, it reported that the Samsung Galaxy app will only have three lenses, two dual cameras, and also an ultra wide angle lens. Now the front camera will probably be a dual lens camera as well. Samsung is not giving the smartphone any bad things. Instead, it will be packed with some of the best features. Since this is their first portable smartphone, and they really want to impress a lot of people. Now, in terms of specs, it's getting a 4.58 inch display on the very front, which is a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. It's really awkward, it's really narrow, but keep in mind that Samsung really wants you to use the smartphone at full capacity when it's unfolded, which will have a 7.3 inch display, which will have a 4.2 to 3 aspect ratio, very similar to other tablets by Samsung and Apple. So it's really cool, and we'll be having one of the latest chips. And not only that, since you can actually fold and unfold the screen, a lot of software developers for major app companies are actually changing the ways so they can actually adapt to the foldable display. Now, if you didn't know, Flipboard, which is one of the biggest apps out there, will be an early adopter of the handset and will produce a very nice and special version of their app for the Galaxy F, which will be available on the Android Store, which is... I hate to admit it, guys, but I'm actually stepping. I'm actually gonna step down from getting an Apple iPhone. So, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, I'm now joining. I'm now joining Android once again. So, so, what do we do? So, Android, what do we do here? It's also very exciting. Not only that, there's going to be a lot of other app companies out there who will be doing the same thing. Now, you may be wondering, how can I get my hands on a smartphone? Samsung has already somewhat announced that they will target the European market. So if you, if you live in Europe, you are very lucky to get your hands on the smartphone. Samsung has also said they will be shipping at least 1 million units in the first half of 2019 and there's going to be a lot of demand for this and the device could be priced as high as $2,000 to $2,500 which in the beginning leaks are saying it will have a starting price of $1,500 but now prices seem to be around 
to 2,500, and will be aimed at professionals. So these people who buy the smartphone will pretty much be early testers and adopters of the Volvo smartphone. This the two thousand dollars. That's actually a lot of. That's actually a lot of. That's actually a lot of money. That's actually a lot of money to spend on a smartphone. Cause spoiler alert, I actually had this phone for like, for like a hundred dollars. And I didn't have to spend two dollars. I didn't actually have to spend two hundred as, and I didn't have to spend two thousand dollars to, to get a smartphone. Like if if I was like if I was stupid enough to get a foldable phone like the like the Galaxy F, that then I would have I would just pick a. And I would just what and I would have just get an I would have just get an iPad and just I would have just got an iPad and just put I would just got an iPad Mini just put and just put it in here. There you got a foldable phone. You got you got a foldable you got a foldable phone. There you don't have to spend you don't have to spend two you don't have to spend two thousand dollars on a goddamn phone. Don't be like a daily driver just yet. It's quite probably going to be like for people who want to test out the tech tech and also pretty much test out the overall software and the overall design since this is the first generation and samsung has put a lot of new technology in the smartphone and the overall device is really wonderful and it's coming really soon sometime in march 2019 after nwc 2019 thanks for watching comments below are you excited for the galaxy app okay Okay, I think I, I think we're done with the Galaxy F here. I think I've known so much animation. Let's let's bring up the next. Okay, this next one is called the Samsung Galaxy S10. We've got a leaked image of what could be the actual Galaxy S10, as well as some videos from Ice Universe and Mobile Fun demonstrating the actual size of the device with screen protectors and even rumors of a graphene battery. So first of all, Evan Blass has recently tweeted this photo of an alleged Galaxy S10 from the front. The image has been cropped and the icons are blurred, but we can get a decent look at what the phone may look like. We can see bezels have been trimmed down and the curved edges of the display don't look as aggressive as previous models. One thing I think people may find slightly frustrating is that the chin at the bottom is slightly bigger than the top bezel. When it's this close, I think some people may have preferred a little more symmetry. Now, of course, this image could be fake, but Evan Blass has been pretty reliable recently, but he has also got things wrong as well. But next up, we've got a leak from Ice Universe where he compares the protective film of the S10 against the S8, the S9 Plus, the Note 9 and the Oppo Find X. Comparing it against the S8, it looks to be very close to the same size, but with a bigger display. Ice Universe's video also makes me think that the bezels and chin may be slightly smaller than we saw in the previous image from Evan Blass. The curved edges again look to be less curved, which is what I think a lot of people are also going to want. When comparing to the other devices, we can see that it is considerably smaller, but personally I think it looks to be a great size. Next up, we've got Ice Universe placing the S9 Plus, the Note 9, and the Oppo Find X inside a case for the Galaxy S10 Plus. We can see from the video that even though the S10 Plus has a bigger display, the S9 Plus still fits perfectly inside the case, meaning it should be the same size phone, but with smaller bezels and a larger display. Of course, the Galaxy Note 9 did not fit inside the case due to its larger form factor. Next up, we've got a video from Mobile Fun where they're comparing screen protectors for the S10 and S10 Plus against the S9. In comparison to the S9 screen protectors, we can see there is a huge difference here with a lot more display and a lot less bezel. The top bezel is much thinner and the chin is definitely smaller. Uh, I want to go back, I want to go back, I want to go back. It should be the same size phone, but with smaller bezels and a larger display. Of course, the okay. Galaxy Note 9 it did not fit inside the case. Due to its See, that's one thing I, I thought was funny there. The Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 doesn't fit. Doesn't fit with the S with the S9, the S9 Plus. I, 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 I don't know. Next up, we've got a video from Mobile Fun. 
Okay, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. I think we know much about the about the Samsung Galaxy S10, I guess. Okay, this next one is the, is the iPhone F. Uh, okay, this next one is the iPhone SE2. Uh. Uh. Yes. Any. Yeah. Anything. The future iPhone, where the screen goes to the edge on both sides, disappearing not at the curve but as the curve. Imagine an iPhone where the FaceTime camera and earpiece take up almost no space, and the screen reaches almost all the way to the top. And imagine an iPhone where the home button is replaced by some new technology that can still allow for a physical escape to a known state, that can still scan fingerprints and authenticate, but that also lets the screen reach almost all the way to the bottom. I wrote that... Wait, what? Way back in January of 2015, when I first started thinking what became iPhone X and iPhone XS were the next inevitable steps forward, the crux of the idea was... Yeah, I hate to bust your bubbles, buddy, but no one calls it the iPhone X anymore. People call it the iPhone X. ...that people kept asking for a more modern 4-inch iPhone, but it occurred to me it wasn't the smaller screen size they really wanted. It was the smaller phone size. And if the screen went edge-to-edge, -edge, they could have both. So now, almost four years later, we have the regular-sized iPhone X and XS with an iPhone Plus-sized display, and the Plus-sized iPhone XS Max with an even bigger display. But what we don't have is that original, still-beloved-by-some, 4-inch iPhone-sized device with what was previously the regular 4.7-inch iPhone screen crammed inside. We had the SE. We still haven't gotten the SE X. I'm Renee Ritchie. Welcome back to Vector. So glad you could join me. Let's break this down. The... the... <laughs> The SE10. The SE10. You could have called it. You could have called it the SE2. We're, we're not talking about. We're not talking about. Uh, we're not talking about. Uh, we're not talking about the ten. The tenth and uh, the tenth generation of iPhone. Anybody? Okay, this video is by Zona Tech. Hold up, let's go back, let's go back, everybody, let's go back. Yeah. Oh, let's go back. Okay, I think I see what, I think I see what we're getting here. I think I see what, what, what we're getting here. So the iPhone, so the iPhone SE two is basically the second generation of, of the iPhone SE, except except it's the iPhone, it's the, it's the iPhone X, it's, except it's the iPhone, it's, it's the iPhone ten, except it's the iPhone ten, mixed with the iPhone, mixed with the iPhone, mixed with the iPhone SE. Cause y'all guys just uh, call it the iPhone fifteen. Or something like that. The iPhone SE 2. Jeez, this, this phone has been rumored and leaked and talked about a lot. But it never happened. Why? Is, is Apple still working on it? And if so, when will the iPhone SE 2 be released? Well, this is what this video is all about. So grab some snacks, get some drinks ready, relax, sit back. And here is everything. Uh, I, 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 I got some snacks right there. So the okay. SE2. Okay, so to understand what's happening with the iPhone SE 2, we first need to have a look at the original iPhone SE. And the iPhone SE was indeed a very strange product, so to say. So it was released in March 2016, so more than two years ago, and it featured the exact same design as the iPhone 5S from 2013, which had the exact same design as the iPhone 5 from 2012, but it had a weird name, SE, which came from Special Edition. So this phone, even when it was freshly released in 2016, already had a four-year-old design, a four-year-old display, however, it did have the internals of the iPhone 6S, with the Apple 9 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and even the exact same back-facing kit. Okay, so, let me get, let me, hold on, let me, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me actually, hold on, let me actually go, hold on, let me actually go back and, uh, let me actually go back and, let me, let me actually go back and, so, so Apple called the iPhone SC, to make it iPhone special edition or the iPhone snooze edition I'm not actually getting what you're calling it here
Like, what is this phone? What is this phone? Like, like, it, like, is it like the same size as my phone? I need to measure that. I need to measure it. Okay, so I actually got the, so I actually got the. I actually got the original picture of the uh, of the iPhone SE. All right. Okay, it's like okay, it's four inches. How many inches is my phone? Uh, my phone is about seven inches. So. So basically, my phone is like bigger than the bigger than the SC. Okay, let's ask. Okay, let's ask. Uh, let's ask Google right here. Will there be an iPhone SE two? Apple's 2018 iPhone launch has been and gone without any mention of, of the iPhone SE two. And there's plenty to uh, to suggest that the iPhone SE line is dead uh, altogether now. The it, the iPhone SE two is one of the tech. It's one of the tech world's great. We'll take we'll take great will it won't uh, won't it segas. How much did the iPhone SE two cost? <laughs> and then you put the original price of the iPhone SEs. Oh jeez. For for comparison, the US uh, the iPhone SE costs three hundred ninety nine dollars. God. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Apple quietly kills uh, off four older versions of the iPhone. That's why I'm going to get Android. Uh, including these last versions that have a headphone jack. Uh, Apple announced the new iPhone models on Wednesday. But all, but also seems they have discontinued for a uh, for older models the company is no longer selling the iphone x 6s or 6s plus or sc through through its website hold up so that means it won't be able to get the iphone x the iphone x is like a year old actually two years old what is up with these people what do you want from us they they're telling us what we can't cannot buy it's like telling us I can't get glasses or anything like that. Jesus Christ. You guys need to lay down on the discontinue which for a bit. Okay, guys, you ready for this? You guys are ready for this? I've actually found the pictures of the iPhone SE2. And make sure you send this to Ricky Bro because he's going to want one too. So that's the iPhone SE2? First off, let's take a look up. Okay. 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 So that's the iPhone SC. Is that the iPhone SE in person? So that's the iPhone SE in person. Despite the fact that... Despite the fact that... That the notch is like... Hold up. That's the iPhone SE. That's the sentence. Ah, uh, but you're still gonna have that.
it's still gonna have that iPhone. You're still gonna have the iPhone X notch right there. Uh, I want, I want the iPhone. I want the iPhone SE. I want the iPhone SE. <clears throat> I want the iPhone SE camera back. I want it back, my dude. Well, guys, I hope this tells you that I'm gonna be getting a Samsung instead of a phone, uh, instead of, instead of a, instead of an iPhone. Cause, cause, uh, because iPhones are difficult. They, cause iPhones are difficult. Cause. Because iPhones are difficult, they and they can they cannot be they cannot be handled like Androids. Cause, cause Androids are like more. Cause Androids are like more. Cause Androids are like more. Uh, they're more they're more simple to use, and they're and they're like more easy. And they're like more easy to get paid games off of. Cause like APK, cause like, cause like I can customize, cause I can customize the, uh, I can customize the, I can customize the, the, I can customize the, the, the sound effects on on a on this device. But the reason why I chose this phone, but the reason why I chose this phone was because was because it was, because it was the only Motorola phone they had. Uh, but as you can see, you still as you can see, you can, you still get that stupid. That stupid, that stupid uh, top headphone jack. I want it. I want it down here. So, so I hope you. I hope this tells you that. You, I hope this tells you. I hope this tells you that I'm getting a a uh, Samsung phone. I won't be get. I won't be getting. I won't be getting an Apple iPhone or anything like that. I just, I just hope this, I just hope this tells you that that Apple sucks and that they'll never release a, 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 uh, the 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 five two or the iPhone SE two, what whatever it's called. But for, but for now, thank you guys so for watching this episode. And if you liked it, punch Apple in the face like a Samsung and who is around. Android forever!